Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Behind the Bat Podcast. I'm Kai Benzbacher. And I'm Ryder Howe. This podcast is brought to you by the CCHS Newsroom. This podcast, we'll be talking about brand new bats this year. The MVP of the 2023 MLB season. Stat leaders of this year's season. And at the end, we will be talking about Ellie De La Cruz and rate his drip 1 through 10 and talk about it. Starting off this podcast, we'll be talking about the new bats. Uh, first one we're going to be talking about is the Atlas. Yeah, it's supposed to be um, a lot more stiff, durable, and it's supposed to have a lot higher exit velo than the last year's bat. Yeah, and the new price of this bat is $350. That's not bad, not bad. Um, this is probably one of my favorite bats. I have the 2023. Very, I love it. Very good, durable, great. Exabilos and just a good all around yeah, bat. You did really good with that bat last year. Um, Cadex Vanta. I used the Cadex um, composite last year. I really liked it, but I think I'm going to get the Cadex Vanta this year. It is really expensive, but there is a lot more stuff yeah, with it. It comes in at a price at $520. Dang. It's completely black now black and silver i think looks really good yeah it's pretty sweet and then um i'm pretty sure it's supposed to have a bigger barrel and a lot better performance yes hopefully it does all right and on to the next bat the next bat is the 2024 voodoo oh yeah i had the 2023 voodoo i think i really liked it i just grew out of it and i think it's supposed to come out at 400 dollars yep I think it's uh, yeah. the improvements that they made on it. It's supposed to be a lot more durable, but the, I think the Voodoo's have had some troubles with their durability. Durability, yeah. In the last few years, yeah. Last year, the they had problems with the end caps and knobs always coming off and always breaking. And yeah, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. The 2024 Louisville Meta. Um, it comes out at five hundred dollars. The new improvements that they made on it are supposed to have a bigger sweet spot, and they changed the color scheme of it, which I'm a really big fan of. Big, uh, excuse me, I'm a really big fan of. It's supposed to be blue now. Looks really good. Yeah, I think the Meta. I think they change colors just about every year. Yeah. I think about two years ago it was orange. Last year is green. Now it's blue. Wonder, <laughs> wonder what the 2025 one's gonna be. Um, um the next bet is the hype fire this bat is made by easton yeah it's a brand new bat they just came out with it yeah it's supposed to be 350 and i'm pretty sure it is yellow and orange and it's pretty sweet i think yep it sounds pretty cool yes it's a one piece bat very good sounds good hit a lot of home runs with it gotta love them dingers all right the um, Rawlings Icon, it's supposed to be 500 as well. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Um, it's supposed to have a new color, which is white and gold, I believe. Yep. And it's supposed to have just a lot better performance than a 2023 one. Hopefully that's the truth. Yes. Last year, the Icon had lots of troubles with it breaking. It was a two-piece bat, but end cap would always come off and just break easily. Sounds like the voodoo. <laughs> uh, um next see. bet is the goods oh the goods i love the goods but let's see it's 450 dollars um it's supposed to have a bigger barrel and it's a two-piece bat um it's got a lot better performance and it also has a longer warranty in case you break it yes last year the goods was always breaking where the bat connected at it was a two-piece bat yeah it that. would always break and the barrel would always shake loose yeah wasn't very good Mm -mm. that's all the bats we got so let's move on to the world series mvp yep we're just going to be talking about the mvp for now and then we'll eventually be talking about who won the world series and how the games went yep looks like the mvp was Corey seager from the texas rangers his batting average this year was really good it was he batted 327 dang that's pretty good in the MLB. Yes, sir. And he had, looks like, 156 hits, 
and yeah. he had a whopping 96 RBIs, which is insane. That's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about who won the World Series. Obviously, the Rangers won this year, four to one. Yeah, this is their first franchise win. That's good. Looks like the Rangers won the first game, the third game, the fourth game, and the fifth game. And the D-backs only won game two. Yeah. Looks like they had a rough one. But let's talk about the conspiracy theory on the Diamondbacks yeah. and the pitchers. So Randy Johnson used to pitch for the D-backs, I believe. And while he was pitching, a bird flew across where he was throwing, and the ball hit the bird and pretty much exploded. It was not good. Yeah, and then this year, Zach Gallen. Off he the was, D-backs. Yeah, off the Diamondbacks. He threw, he was, I think it was just long toss with his catcher. Yeah. And he drilled a bird too. So there were, yeah, there were many people trying to come up with a conspiracy theory that the D-backs were going to win because the year that Randy Johnson hit the bird that's the year they won the world series too yeah. yep so looks like that didn't happen <laughs> yeah but it was kind of rough for the d-backs this oh year. yeah but they also did, had a really good season yeah yes they did did a lot better than they did last year i think they were a little rough last year so yeah they did a lot better all right um next see. we are going to move on to the stat leaders the stats okay the most home runs, I'm pretty sure it was Matt Olson. He had a whopping 54 home runs. But that was really good. That's he crazy. Had a heck of a year. Oh, good. yeah. Good job to him. Yeah. Most hits, Ronald Acuna Jr. with 217. Good <laughs> Lord. He is going crazy this year. Oh, my gosh. The um, most stolen bases is also held by Ronald Acuna Jr. with 73. <laughs> That's a fast guy to take yeah, that. Yeah, he is fast. Especially with them really good catchers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Person with the most strikeouts or K's was Spencer Strider with two hundred and eighty one. And he also had the most wins this year on off the mound. He had twenty wins this year. Dang. And then looks like the best batting average was Luis Arez. Is that how you say it? I'm pretty sure. Huh. He had a 354 batting average, which is crazy in the big leagues. Yes, he did really good this year. Yeah. Now, the best part. The drip <laughs> segment. The drip segment. This right. year's player will be Ellie De La Cruz. Um, what do you think about his drip, Kai? It's solid tan. <laughs> I love it. What's I love this opinion? drip so much. It is amazing. He's got everything you can really think of. He's got arm sleeves, arm bands, sunglasses, cool batting gloves, and he's got really, really cool chains. He's just a really good all-around player, also really fast. I think he was one of the top five for stolen bases this year. Yeah. Really good player, shortstop. Yeah. He's a stud for yeah. coming. He's a rookie. Coming from a rookie, yeah. Rookie last. Really good. Very okay. Good. Yep. And thank you for tuning in this week. Till next time, we'll see you later. Peace. Peace.